What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Addict, bringing my top picks for the Friday main DK slate, guys. All right, guys, so in case you didn't know, it's Friday the 13th, and we got 13 games on the slate, guys. So what a coincidence, right? So um, let's get back into it, guys. So um, I need everybody to follow me on Twitter, guys, at DraftKings Addicts. All right, there's a link in the description, guys, for the uh, Twitter handle. All right, so... um. You know, I put out some information on there, you know, if I'm not going to do a video or, you know, if I have a play that I like, you know, if there's a value play that opens up, you know, I may tweet that out. But, um, again, just follow me on Twitter just to get some updates on that, guys. All right, so let's get into my top picks for the day, guys. All right. So first thing I do in my research, guys, I come over here to the draft dashboard, guys, and I go to, to the position optimizer and I go in here and I select which position I'm looking for and I, and I go in the optimizer. So, like, for instance, when I go to pitcher, you know, I click on picture. All right. Then I come in here and I sort it by my dash rank. All right. And then I look at my top plays, guys. So as you can see right here, my top plays today for picture for me. I'm going with Garrett Cole, guys. He's the most expensive pitcher on the slate because he's in the best spot. And he just faced his team recently and put up like 35 DraftKings points, man. So I like Garrett Cole, all right, with the K upside, all right, because he's been playing real good playing for Houston. All right, and my number two SP, I went down a little bit right here, guys, but you got um, Mr. Chad Cool right here, man. You know, he's been playing okay, you know, 15, 29, I mean, 15, 12. All right, but he's in a good spot versus Miami, guys. All right, if you look at Miami's numbers, guys, uh, they're, they're not doing too well versus his pitcher handling. So I like Chad Cool in his, uh, in his position, guys, at only 7K with some upside potential there. All right, guys, but this is Draft Dashboard, guys. Give it give it, give it, a check out. In the, in the description of the uh, video, there's a link for a seven-day trial for one buck, guys. So give it a shout-out. Try it out if you like it. Keep it if it helps you build some fire DraftKings lineups. Then, hey, it's money well spent, right? But if you don't like it after seven days, give it a ditch, man. Just go ahead and cancel it and move on with your life and go ahead and just do your, your manual research. As you can see, I got a couple of um, uh, fan graph um, uh, links up here, guys. But Fangraph, to be honest, you can find all the information there if you know how to go and dig and find it. But Draft Dashboard just makes it easier for you because it puts it right there on the screen. All right. So good luck, guys. So let's move on. So my top picks today, guys. We're going to make this video real quick because, again, it's a 13-day slate, guys. I just kind of glance it over, look for the spots that we want to attack because, again, on 13 games, some people get too pretty, you know, or too cute, I say. You know, trying to find these these super low on plays, right? It's a 13 game slate, guys. A lot of plays are not going to be real high on. And this is like like a very obvious play. All right. So I'm going to talk about some of those today because again, I'm a cash game player. All right. Which means I want the I want the plays that's going to be going to be popular and that has a chance to put up good points. So as you see on the screen, again, like I say, guys, I like Gary Cole um in at home in Houston. Again, he faced his team before. All right, and put up 36 draft king points. He had 11 Ks. In the two games that he's pitched, he's averaging 11 Ks, guys. San Diego and Texas. Okay, let's just sit on that for a little bit. 11 Ks, guys. All right, this guy's pitching out of his mind. So I like him. Even though he's 12K, I'm, I'm paying up for him because he pretty much has a safe floor, you know. All right, so next up, like I say, I like Chad Cool. I like him again just because he, he's my value SP pitcher. He's in a good matchup versus Miami, guys, in my opinion. And so um, I like him on the low end as far as – of the dollar goes. Originally, when I first looked at it, guys, I was on the pitcher uh, for the Mets, all right, because he's playing against Milwaukee. I like to attack uh, the Brewers um, when it comes to uh, pitching. But that guy just didn't get the Ks, man. And then DraftKings, you need the Ks. Here you go right here, Steven Matz. All right, so he was a guy that I was looking at, guys. And I still may consider him after I dig into some of the data a little further. But, you know, 8Ks versus Washington, pretty impressive in my opinion. All right, for a guy that's on the 6K, Plan to get some Milwaukee team that loves the whiff, you know what I'm saying? So keep an eye on him, guys. But I, I said I may I may make him my, my pitcher number two. But at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and stick with cool. All right, next up, guys, I like Whit Merrifield, all right, for a value play, all right, versus um, the Angels. All right, so, again, I like him in this play, guys, if you look at this particular game. All right, so where we going, Angels? All right, so right here, guys, we got uh, – 15 mile per hour wind heading out in left field. All right. With Merrifield's back in batting second versus a left hander, guys. All right. I like that. I like that. So 
Again, 14 miles per hour wind heading out, guys. We're going to go ahead and roll with that. So at $3,100, I like this guy's chance of giving me some, some decent points. And as you see, he's been hitting the ball lately, guys. A couple of games where he had two hits and a couple of uh, a second base hit there. Like he has a stolen base, too. So I like his chances at 3,100, guys. He's a good play at 3,100. So as you can see on the screen, guys, I got a couple of Boston guys here, guys. All right. So this Boston stack is going to be very popular. They have the highest projected run total on the board. And they're going up against a trash pitcher, guys. All right. So, let's go on over here so you guys can see. All right. Oh, let me get rid of that. Boston. So, here you go. 5.7 runs, guys. All right. All right. 62-degree weather. 64% humidity. You know, all right. Three-mile-power wind. We're not really worried about that. But look at that, guys. They're going against Chris Tillman, guys. All right. Just play all the right-handed bat. I mean, left-handed batters, guys. Okay. All right, I got one right-handed batter, that's Mookie Betts. All right, so if you look at Mookie Betts, you know, he does pretty well versus the right-handed, but I like him because he's batting leadoff, and he's always a chance to steal bases and, and do other things outside of just hitting the ball. But he could hit, hit a home run, too. But, you know, I got my Benatendi and I got my Devers, guys. All right, I like the lefties, all right? All right, don't ignore the righties, but I like the lefties, all right? But uh, Raphael Devers right here, I like him. He has a pretty high uh, Woba versus the pitcher hand in this guy's. He's batting in the meat of the order. I think he's batting fifth in the, in the cleanup spot, so I like him. Again, I, I told you I like Mookie best because look at this guy, man. He has a chance to put up something like this, guys. 43 DraftKings points. Wow. All right, so he doesn't have a lot of stolen bases, but if we know about Mookie Betts, he is a, a guy that likes to steal bases every now and then. But I like him. He's batting off at the top, so he's going to get four to five chances to hit depending on how many times they cycle through the lineup, guys. But I like Betts. And Ben Attendi, to be honest, guys, he's my favorite player on the board, guys. All right. Just play him. All right. That's all I'm going to say. Just play him. And last but not least, this is a value play, guys. This guy's been low-key on a little heater. As you can see right here, 15-15-8. Now, this was in Colorado. All right. So, he's going to be back at home in San Diego. But he has a nice little uh, uh, advantage all right, versus this particular pitcher that he's going against. All right. He's my outfielder. So, we go over to the position optimizer. All right. Wait for it to load up. Go to Perella. Right. Oops, maybe I'm not spelling his name right. All right, let's just go ahead and scroll down and find him. There we go. As you see right here, it's a plus 43% advantage, guys. All right, he's personally batting a point nine two eight OPS versus lefties. And Blocker Blatch, however you say his name, is giving up the highest uh, OPS versus righty, and that's what Perella is. So I like him for a value play. And again, like I say, he's been playing pretty hot the last couple of games. So ride the hot bat, guys. So those are my top plays for DraftKings tomorrow, guys. It leaves you $3,600 per position if you pay down at, at catcher. That'll still leave you a good good amount of uh, money. I like to pay down at shortstop as well, too, even though we got a nice shortstop on the uh, uh, on the slate. Where is, it? Where is he? Oh, maybe he's not in this particular one. Oh, there you go. Seager. I like him versus Gronk. Granky, he has a nice uh, a BVP. If you're a BP, BVP truther, you want to go ahead and get you some Corey Seager, guys. So if you go on here and you look at it, Corey Seager right here, he's facing 11 times that bat. He got six hits, a couple extra base hits, a couple of home runs, a couple of RBIs. So if you believe in batter versus pitcher stats, there you go. All righty, guys. So good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys. Follow me on Twitter, guys. I'm, I'm going to be dropping some information. Tomorrow morning after the lineups and stuff come out, I'm going to dig into the stats, guys, and I'm probably going to uh, – I may have to change some of my plays. But right now, I love the Boston stack. I love a Washington stack with the right-handed pitchers for for, uh, for Washington. All right? And I also like the Houston stack as well. So those are my top three stacks, guys. So, again, if you go look at this Washington game, guys, 14-mile-per-hour wind heading out, 80-degree weather. That's nice hitting weather right there, guys. It's hot. All right, the ball will travel. Like I said, go ahead and get you some writers, guys. I like Rendon, Zimmerman, uh, two of the players that I like the best on these teams, Rendon and Zimmerman. They're right before and after um, Harper, but Rendon and Zimmerman, those are the top plays that I, I feel like in that stack. But, again, I love all the right-hand bets and watch the guys. So good luck on tomorrow, guys. If you love DFS like me, go ahead and hit the, the like on this video for me, please. And if you uh, want to be notified when I make videos, 
go ahead and, and hit the subscribe button, guys, and click the little bell icon if you want to get the notification so you can know when the vid- videos drop. All right, guys, so good luck tomorrow, and I'll I, I holler at you guys on Twitter.